Hey guys, it's Lupita. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my deluxe Jeffree Star mystery box and I'm very, very excited. Now, it was pretty hard to get my hands on these boxes and I say these boxes because for today, I'm only going to be unboxing my deluxe mystery box, but I was able to get my hands on three more Jeffree Star mystery boxes, which should get here by tomorrow. So tomorrow, I will be filming that video for you guys and unboxing the other three boxes. Plus, I will have a giveaway in that video, so stay tuned and turn on your post notifications. Now, it was very hard to get my hands on these boxes because the website kept crashing, so I had to do two separate orders. But overall, I am so excited to see what's inside these boxes. I'm also very excited because we all know he said there was going to be an exclusive lipstick shade in the premium and deluxe mystery boxes and the only way you can get that shade is if you did purchase a mystery box so I'm very excited to see what that shade is going to be is it going to be wearable you guys know there's a lot of controversy um, with the previous mystery boxes saying that there was like green and purple shades yes I can kind of see where everyone is coming from but we also have to keep in mind that Jeffree like his brand Jeffree Star Cosmetics is known for having very bright you know vivid colors and you don't only use those colors for lipsticks a lot of people use it for like eyeliners and stuff like that so you can like multi-use them but I do get where everyone's coming from like I can't wear like a green lipstick every day but overall I'm very excited to see what's in these mystery boxes now for the deluxe mystery box I did pay $75 with a tax but it was $70 but again $75 with taxes I love the color it's like a bright orange color and I'm living for it I love neon colors especially for summer I feel like there's such pretty colors so we're going to go ahead and unbox the box and we're gonna see what's inside of course we have like the usual pink tissue paper let's see I want to count how many items I have in here okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Did you guys know that I purchased every single mystery box that Jeffrey has released and overall I am pretty happy with all the mystery boxes that I've gotten so the first thing that I see is a straw which I have been wanting to get one of his straws and this is a reusable straw and I love how it's pink. Usually they sell these in a pack of three, so I'm not quite sure how much the price would be for just one. So I'm very, very happy overall that I got this straw. I would definitely be putting it to use. Okay, the next thing I see is a lip scrub. Now this lip scrub has a price of $12. I know all these prices because I made my boyfriend look in the box and write down like all the prices. So it says the lip scrub is $12. Oh my God, the packaging is so cute. I love it. Again, very Jeffrey, very pink with the logo and stuff, but I mean, I I don't mind it. I'm not mad at it. It's actually really pretty. This smells like sour apple, like green apple. It smells really good. Okay, let me see. Oh, this is going to be great for my lips. You know what? Let's just take up our lipstick and let's test it out on the lips right now. Why not? Let me go ahead and remove some of my lipstick. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of the lip scrub. By the way, this smells so good. Okay, although it's totally safe for you to eat the lip scrub, it's just honestly personal preference. I do not want to eat the dead skin for my lips. No, thank you. I'll pass on that. But my lips definitely do feel a little bit plumper. They feel like, you know, nude lips. I definitely don't have any of that dead skin anymore. So I'm definitely going to be using this lip scrub from now on. I really like it. It's not too harsh on the lips. It doesn't feel like too grainy, like to the point where you're hurting your lips. I really, really did like this one. So this one was $12. Okay, then we have a Supreme Frost, which I'm very excited. Actually, I already have one of his Supreme Frost. This one's in Money Honey. And let's open this up. It looks kind of like very iridescent, kind of like green with gold, which kind of makes sense. Money, honey. Let's do a swatch on the hand. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you guys can really see that. That is actually not bad. It kind of reminds me like of the color of my shirt. You can add just like a little bit of this on top just so you can kind of get like an iridescent highlight or you can use this whenever you want to create like a very colorful look or whenever you go to a rave or a concert or you know what, this will be really good as a shimmer for an eyeshadow. I feel like this will look super, super pretty just like to add it on top of the eyeshadow. I feel like it'll look really nice. Now the Supreme Frost, this one is $32. Wow, okay. This one is 32 bucks. We're gonna move on to the next product. I see a lip liner, yay! Doll Parts Lip Liner. 
Have I ever gotten doll parts before? I don't think so. Well, this one is a lip liner, and this one is $16. I love the packaging of the lip liners. It is so cute. I feel like he really does put a lot of thought into his packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. You see, they're very, very creamy. They glide on really good. Um, the other lip liner that I got from him was kind of like a wine shade. It was like a very dark burgundy color. I don't wear it all the time because that's mostly like a fall color, but I did test it on my lips one time and they're very velvety and very creamy and they're very long lasting. So I really do like his lip liners. Again, the formula is awesome. The next shade we have is Ponseria. Ponseria. Gosh, I'm butchering that so bad. Ponseria. Don't know how you pronounce that. Don't kill me in the comment section. But this one is a Velour Liquid Lipstick. Now these are $18. Wow, that is a metallic shade. I am loving it. That is so nice. You know what this reminds me for? For Christmas. This is what it reminds me. Let's put it on the lips. I just want to try it on the lips to see what it's going to look like. Couldn't open it for a second. Okay, there we go. We got it. So this is what the shade looks like on the lips. Obviously, it does not match with eyes or the shirt, but I just want to try it on the lips for you guys to see. This is definitely a metallic shade. It's not too crazy where it's like, bam, all up in your face. From a distance, you probably can't even tell that it's metallic, but this is definitely something that I would wear for like Christmas with just like a very neutral eye look. Or again, you can use it as a eyeliner. So I go ahead and take this off my lips and we'll move on to the rest of the products. So we're gonna move on to the next product. I see another velour liquid lipstick. This one is in Diva. Oh. Wait, I actually have Diva already from previous mystery boxes that he did. So that is a little bit... Mm, not quite sure how to feel about it because I already have a Diva from previous mystery boxes. I believe this is the third round he's released of mystery boxes. So the fact that I'm receiving Diva again makes me question... Is he just trying to get rid of the shades, certain shades, and just throws them in mystery boxes? Or like, what's the tea here? But I do have a diva since I got it in previous mystery boxes, so let me go ahead and get that. Okay, so this is a brand new diva, which I'm going to put to the side for a giveaway. This is my diva, the one that I've already been having in my makeup collection. Again, like I said, I'm not quite sure how to feel about that. I received another diva in another set of mystery boxes. Um, so I'm going to be using the Doll Parts lip liner, just so I can apply diva on the lip stain so you guys can see what it looks like okay so this is what the lip liner looks like on now we're going to apply diva all over the lips so this is what diva looks like on the lips and again it's a very bam all up in your face kind of pink it's very bright and very vivid i really like it though it's a very fun color i feel like for summer is great now the only thing that i'm kind of iffy about and that i'm not really liking so far is that again i got another diva in another set of mystery boxes that i really don't like um but if you're a person that is like your first time purchasing this set of mystery boxes then you'll probably get lucky like oh my god i haven't received diva but if you've been purchasing mystery boxes like me it's kind of like oh we got like the same products as another round of mystery boxes that's like the only part that i'm kind of like mm. You know, kind of like iffy about it. But the good thing is that I have a, you know, spare Jeffree Star lipstick to throw in a giveaway for one of you guys. Now we're going to move on to the next um, Velour Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Celebrity Skin. This shade I actually don't have. So very excited for this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Also, you guys might notice, like... How it looks here on the stickers where it says the name, it's totally different how it looks in the packaging. Can you guys see? I told you. See how it looks like super dark here, like celebrity skin, and look how nude it is. But I mean, I don't mind because I love nude colors. So I'm very, very happy about this shade right here. Let me go ahead and take this off my lips so we can apply celebrity skin. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply a celebrity skin on the lips. Hopefully this is not too nude for my skin tone color, but we're about to see. This might be a little too nude for me, actually. So this is what the lipstick looks like on. And this is definitely way too nude for me, but am I going to let this shade go to waste? Definitely not. So what I like to do with products that are a little bit too light for me when it comes to lipsticks, I like to just go ahead and save them. This one would be the perfect lipstick to apply to the center of the lips to tone it down or to just give the illusion that I have a bigger lip. So I would definitely be putting this shade to use. Do you guys think this matches my skin tone color? Let me know in the comments down below 
below. I want to know because if you guys say that it looks good with my skin tone color, I would definitely keep on using it. If not, I'll use it like what I told you guys just for like the center of the lips. Let me know what you guys think, okay? I want to know because if you guys say that it matches my skin tone color, I'm going to be rocking this color. Okay, so we have... The shade that I was waiting for. This is the Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is the exclusive shade that was only going to be available if you did get a mystery box. So he did say that this shade was not going to be on sale. So let's open this up. This shade is literally just a question mark. That's the name of it. It doesn't even have a name. And let's open it up. Oh, bish. The cap. I'm living for it. It matches my shirt. Loving it. The shade. Oh my god. I love it. Let's swatch this. Oh, I'm so ready to swatch this on the lips. Let's put it on. Okay, my lips are looking a little bit crusty right now because I've been applying lipsticks on top of lipsticks on top of lipsticks. But let's go ahead and apply this shade. I'm very, very excited to see what it's going to look like on the lips. Okay, so this is what the shade looks like. It's actually a really pretty shade. I'm not mad at it. I actually really do like it. Again, I feel like this lip color, I would wear it with like more of like a natural eye makeup look versus like the pink eyeshadow that I have going on right now. I feel like this lipstick for like an everyday wear would actually be really pretty. So I'm actually really happy and really impressed with the shade of this lipstick because I don't know about you guys but when I saw his snapchat story and he said it's not going to be like yellow or green it's going to be like wearable shade I was like okay I'm really really interested to see what the shade is going to be so I feel like he did a really good job with this shade and I feel like it's going to suit a lot of different skin tones so I really do like this shade now we do have a pop socket which oh this is orange yeah, I'm guessing this is like part of like the summer collection, but I really do like it. Not quite sure what the price of the pop socket is. Did he give me a price for this one? No, but all the um, the Lorelai Calypso guys are $18. Now we have the merch. This one is in a size small and their merch is, let's see, the shirt is $25. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, it's just a plain black t-shirt. Oh, no, it's not. It is not a plane. Okay, so it has like the Jeffree Star logo, of course. And then it's like, hi, how are you? That is so freaking cute. If this would be in the front, bitch, I'll be rocking this everywhere. Like, hi, how are you? <laughs> It has it in the back though. It's really cute. I'm definitely going to be wearing this This will be really cute tucked in with some high-waisted jeans with like some white sneakers for like a casual look I am so going to be wearing this shirt. So we did get a total of 10 items Now for those 10 items I paid $75 with tax for the box So the value of this box is $103. Well, it's $103 without counting the pop socket and the straw I'm not quite sure what the price of these two items are but if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. So the value is 103 so that means I saved $28, which is not bad. And I'm not going to lie. When I first saw the Diva lipstick, I was kind of like, are you serious? We are getting literally the same products as previous mystery boxes. But when you really take a look, a close look at the box, you do get a pretty decent amount of products for just... $70. Well, $75 with taxes. So you do get a merch item, which is a t-shirt. We have a pop socket. We have a reusable straw, lip liner, lip scrub, Supreme Frost, which by the way, I want to swatch right now. Um, and then also we have four velour liquid lipsticks, which of course you do have two, which is like Diva and the other shade that is like not like your everyday colors, but then you do have the mystery shade with celebrity skin, which can be used for everyday colors to wear. So, I mean, you do get a lot of products that you will be using every day. For example, the reusable straw, girl, I'm going to be using this. My pop socket, put it on my phone. The shirt, super cute. I'll wear this shirt, again, like I said, with some high-waisted jeans tucked in with some white sneakers, a very casual outfit. The lip liner, we all wear a pink lipstick at least once in our lives so you definitely will be putting this one to use the lip scrub girl i'll be using this probably every other day to scrub my lips and then these two colors i'll probably put them to use and then like diva and the other one probably when i have like a special occasion and the supreme frost highlighter although it's not like your everyday highlighter you can use it for a lot of different um ways you can use it as kind of like an eyeshadow like kind of what i did today 
with a different shade and then you'll just grab the highlight and just pat it on to you know get a little bit of glitter on the eyelid onto the eyeshadow or you can just apply a little bit just like to touch it up on the highlight I want to do that let's just do that right now okay and then also let me take off this lipstick. I feel like it really doesn't go very well <laughs> with the eye look that I'm wearing right now. Okay, so I want to take the Supreme Frost, which this one is in Money Honey. I want to take a little bit and just add a little tiny bit on top just to see, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But again, you can just apply a little bit. Not a lot, obviously, because if you apply a lot, <laughs> it's not like your everyday highlight. But you can just apply a little bit. You can probably see it or probably the camera's not picking it up. I can see it in my mirror. So overall, guys, I feel like if you're a person that has been wanting to try Jeffree Star cosmetic products but you don't know what products to get, I would totally recommend a mystery box for you because you do get 10 products for $70. You don't have to get the deluxe. There's also the premium and the mini. I'm pretty sure he will release another round of mystery boxes in the future. And if he doesn't, stay tuned for my next video because I'll be doing a giveaway of a mystery box in that video. So stay tuned for that. But but overall, I feel like my box was not bad. Yes, we probably got some products that are kind of like, well, I'm not going to wear that every day. But we got products that I am going to be putting to use every single day. So I'm not mad at the box. I'm actually really happy. I feel like my $70 were very well spent. Love the products. Love everything that I got. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys got in your mystery boxes if we got the same products. Let me know. I'm curious. Did we all get the same products in the deluxe mystery box? Or what's the tea? Let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, stay tuned for my next video. Turn on your post notifications. Hit the little bell so I can notify the next time I upload my new video. Literally, I'm waiting for my boxes tomorrow to get here. As soon as I get here, I'm sitting down here filming the video for you guys, unboxing the other three boxes and doing a giveaway in that video and giving away a Jeffree Star mystery box. So if you weren't able to get your hands on a mystery box or if you did get your hands on a mystery box and you just want an extra one, stay tuned for the video. You never know. You might be the lucky winner. Other than that, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Pirachia family and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.